Disclaimer. This review features a collectible item and it's for adult collectors ages 13 and up only. It is not intended for children. So if you are age 13 or below, please stop watching this video now. Thank you. Lydia here and welcome back to a new door review on my channel so today as you can see I have one more of the LOL surprise twins dolls over here and this is also from series one and this is fancy girl <laughs> fancy girl but it's uh, written like girl and I know it sounds really weird um, to me I, I, I just like calling her fancy girl because it's just more um, I don't know more natural um, but yeah I'm really excited again to be doing another one of these reviews and there is also a review uh, coming up of the fourth girl from this series so I have the full series and if you haven't seen the previous two reviews um, of uh, Sherry BB and Freshest they are up on my channel so you can go ahead and uh, watch them so yeah I really really love these little uh, tiny uh, LR surprise dolls or like twins because they are in between the small regular um, LOL surprise dolls and the LOL OMG dolls of course uh, but I just really really love these I think these are my favorites uh, from this uh, whole um, LOL surprise collection line and uh, yeah so I'm doing a review of it and I'm really interested to see how how uh, good or bad my doll looks inside the box because as you can see you can't see the doll uh, when you buy it so it's just you know get you get a random uh, quality one it's uh, kind of like a uh, a it depends on your luck so it's a blind bag it's a blind box <laughs> Um, but yeah, so let's take uh, first a closer look at the box and after that I will unbox her and see how uh, cool she is and how well she was painted. So as you can see the box itself, it's uh, it's way smaller than the OMG dolls because it's it's natural since the dolls are smaller as well. Over here it says LR Surprise Twins, which means in between, you know, a kid and a adult. And the base of the box as you can see it's this um, pastel pink with this pastel like uh, Turkish color or turquoise <laughs> and over here it says 15 surprises fashion fashions and accessories bedroom playset package and it says the same thing in just uh, different languages uh, one set um, over here it says series one and in the background as you can see it's black and white stripe with some hearts there is a broken heart over there as well um, it says twin fashion doll and here is a super cute um, artwork of fancy girl and over here it says fancy girl although there is this huge uh, price tag in the front I'm sorry about that guys that's just how they uh, sell it in the store over here so uh, you can take it off but it will be all sticky where the tag was so that's why I am actually just leaving it on this is the top of the box it has this uh, clear plastic handle one of the sides it says fancy girl and it has uh, black and pink stripes on it little heart over there um, and it says uh, hashtag collect lol and of course they have a Instagram and a YouTube page and these those were made by MGA of course there is this huge sticker in the back of, of also sorry about that so we have the four girls over here although you can't really see freshest over there uh, in the back uh, and I still need to make a review of Hoops Curie she will be coming soon as I said before over here it says I'm in between but right where I wanna be and it says the same thing in just different languages and on this side we have a bunch of super cute hearts and it says hey sis 
Um, now I am not really familiar with the little um, like original little su uh, lore surprise um, doll, so I don't know her name, uh, but she is the smaller sister of uh, Fancy Girl, and if you look at her, you, you can tell that she they are sisters. I mean, she's like a little princess, and Fancy Girl is is kind of also like this um, princessy uh, type. And over here, as you can see, there is this um, interesting little decoration on my box. <laughs> um, well, that was actually done by my guinea pigs. Um, since I don't really have a lot of space in my room, I'm storing most of my uh, to be unboxed and reviewed uh, dolls uh, on the on the floor. And they got to my box and they decided to um, take a bite or two or three and decorate it, so <laughs> I'm sorry about this guys um, I, I only noticed later that they uh, decided to decorate it so um, yeah, a little interesting fact uh, about my box but it's okay so yeah, now let me just unbox her and we'll take a uh, closer look so here we go, I have unboxed Fancy Girl over here and um, she is really, really adorable. She's uh, such a pretty doll, and thank God my uh, doll doesn't really have any flaws. I haven't noticed any uh, problems with her uh, face up and uh, paint job. So, um, yeah, I'm just really glad that, uh, that I was able to uh, get one of the flawless uh, dolls. Now, I did before I uh, began to review her uh, stuff and uh, the doll itself. I just wanted to mention that I did give her a uh, kind of like a hair wash, although I did not uh, like undo her uh, her uh, hairstyle because her hair was just really really like gelled, like it was like rock hard uh, in the back and um, on the top of her head. So I did wash that out and combed it and it's now all uh, fluffy and nice looking. Because I just honestly prefer it like this, like this, it's just more natural and uh, better looking. So, uh, yeah, before I uh, begin to review uh, the whole doll for you guys, uh, let's take a closer look at her uh, bedroom uh, playset that she comes with. So, this is basically the inside of the box or the insert uh, of the box. And as you can see over here, we have a uh, uh, like a cabinet where she is uh, putting her stuff and there is a crown over there a bunny a lamp I think that's like a lip purse and um, there's also a clock a telephone and a tiara so pretty cute and over here it says dramatic. I think that's what it says. Yes, it says dramatic. And uh, yeah, we have some cosmetics over there and uh, her clothes and purses and shoes and whatnot. And of course, since this is a bedroom playset, you can actually pull this uh, part down. And there in the back, we get to see a, a chandelier, some lights, and a chair as well. And there's a pair of shoes over there. That's actually her. Uh, that's actually the shoe that she is wearing right now. I mean the doll. And this part of the box becomes a uh, bed. And she's writing in her journal over there. Fluffy pillow. So yeah, pretty nice little uh, playset if you want to display your doll like this. If you have the free space on your shelf, then it's a really nice uh, little display that uh, you can um, display her in and uh, all of her accessories of course were packaged uh, separately but just wanted to mention before you throw out if you are uh, the type of person that throws out uh, the packaging be careful because this part, this uh, bed slash cabinet uh, box actually has this uh, hidden uh, little um, compartment and uh, there is uh, a accessory inside. I'm not exactly sure what. I think it was her purse or something. In there, but uh, be sure that you uh, fully check the whole box before uh, you throw it out because 
you might accidentally throw out some of her uh, stuff. And her stuff was uh, packaged in these cute little heart, uh, heart designed um, paper. And her um, jacket actually was in this, or coat in this uh, little bag, um, which is interesting because usually these dolls um, in this little packaging, the twins come with their bag because, as you can see, the packaging also has a bag on it. Uh, it was I was uh, quite surprised when I opened it, and it was uh, her jacket instead of her little purse inside. But you know, and of course. Other accessories come in these uh, little paper cardboard uh, boxes that you can open. And in this one was her shoe because this is a uh, BB boutique uh, little box. And over here on the side you can see her shoe and the size of the shoe. So really nice. Again, these. Uh, these little boxes could be used as accessories as well. I think they are uh, really fun. Now, some of the other stuff that she comes with. So she does come with a play little plastic comb, which is uh, this pearly white color. And it actually says twins on it. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So yeah, it's a little nice uh, comb. Um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of these combs because you can't really use them, but you know, uh, in case they always include a comb with the dolls. She also comes with her own stand, of course, which is always awesome. It says LOL Surprise Twins on it. And it has this, che this uh, checkered design. The stand itself is a really light pastel uh, pink color. And I do know that uh, on the camera it kind of shows on of a uh, pastel purple. A color but trust me it is a pastel uh, pink color and of course it has a a, a double uh, pair of these um, waist holder uh, parts or waist holder things because if you lose one of them then you can of course use the other one really nice and sturdy um, stands I really really li like these she also comes with her own little um, booklet or, or journal. It actually says composition book and it says fancy girl on it. And a bunch of little pink hearts. There are also some yellow hearts over there. There's a broken heart as well. On the back it says Lord Surprise Twins. And if you open it up, we get a picture of fancy girl over there. It's uh, basically her, uh, her uh, artwork. Uh, from the box as well and here it says there's this little quiz that basically each of the twins dolls uh, come with this little book and each of them have uh, different uh, things that you get to know about them so it says this or that and pink or more pink and of course she circled more pink uh, texting versus uh, calling and she likes texting better and shopping versus makeovers and she likes shopping better well i do agree with her on uh, actually on texting and shopping i do agree with her <laughs> instead of the other uh, options uh, but yeah so uh, super cute we get to know more of her uh, of her in this little booklet and i just wanted to show you guys uh, her little purse which is a heart shape as you can see on this side it has these little um, kind of looks like uh, beads white beads and there is a opening with a zipper of course fake zipper uh, you can kind of put stuff in it but it's it's just so small I'm not sure what would fit in there and the other side looks uh, the same but it's a much more lighter pink as you can see in this shiny be the detail that's molded and the little beads are uh, are really really like light pink like pearly pink colored kind of looks um, like silver on uh, camera but they are like really light uh, pink colored 
And I do think that it's such a cute detail that the zipper lock is actually also heart shaped. So yeah, um, super cute little purse uh, and it really just um, fits her. So here it is a up close of a fancy girl and she's all dressed up. I put all of her accessories on her. And I'm going to start off with her sunglasses because I do want to remove those so that you guys can see her face a little bit better. And so her sunglasses are really interesting and uh, cool looking at the same time, but you know, not quite practical if uh, we think about it because it does not cover, as you can see, her, uh, her eyes uh, fully. But they are uh, three and three uh, hearts, basically pink hearts, um, like connecting and there's this little um, silver um, wave I guess I could call it that uh, that's uh, on on her nose it's kind of see-through as you can see and on the sides too it's pink it's really fancy because you know she is fancy girl uh, but it's really interesting um, not a huge fan of it honestly I think she would have looked better with just one simple big heart covering her, her eyes but I think that would have been just way too, I don't know, boring and basic. Um, so whoever designed this, it's, it's really um, interesting. Let me just remove that if I can, there we go. So yeah, really interesting <laughs> sunglasses. Now here is Fancy Girl's face and she is super duper cute. She has these huge uh, little surprise eyes of course and they are this really light um, bluish teal color and she has a faint uh, light pink makeup with a bit of a uh, darker pink line at the top and her lips are light pink color then you can see her little teeth uh, there and um, she has really thin uh, brown eyebrows teeny tiny bit of uh, red on her cheeks, nothing too dramatic, not her face, uh, her whole face up and uh, makeup is not like overly dramatic or anything, it's just super cute and uh, nice looking. Now her hair is, as I said before, I did wash it a little bit uh, and as you can see it's a light brown color, kind of, um, of a chestnut color I guess. And it has some lighter parts in it as well, as you can see over here, or actually this front piece uh, that's pulled to the side over here. And yeah, so it's a really interesting uh, uh, looking uh, uh, hairdo. Um, so you can kind of see that this part comes from underneath the um, top part, <laughs> which is like pulled up into this curled up super cute uh, ponytail or pigtail on top of her head as you can see and this was like really gelled now it's all uh, nice and nice and bouncy and um, honestly I don't think it like needs uh, the gel because as you can see it's it's still curled up so it's it's uh, it looks okay and this part is uh, tied with a uh, little elastic uh, to one of her strands of hair that's coming from the back. Um, it's kind of hard <laughs> to explain it to you guys, but you guys can see uh, what I'm talking about. And she also has this super cute uh, glittery, sparkly um, hair clip over here, the front, which is a heart shape. And you can actually undo that uh, hair clip, it's just that it's kind of really hard too. It's, I don't know, it's really strong, so uh, be careful that you don't break it. And here on the back, she has a quite a massive amount of hair, as you can see, and the ends of it, it's all like curled up. Again, this whole part was just like gelled into a, a, a big mess of, uh, of hair, but now that I washed it and combed it, it's just really nice and fluffy and bouncy. I really like it, how it uh, looks now. So she looks uh, super uh, cute, and I, again, I really prefer that her uh, her uh, hair is just a more natural color than uh, the usual all colorful uh, hairs. I think we need those like this. And uh, moving on, 
as you can see her earrings are little um, pink balls I guess I could tell them they are fluffy or flocked and they are hanging on a silver chain with a little pink bow on top and her earrings are the same on both sides as you can see the other jewelry that she has is this little silver necklace bead necklace that you just simply uh, put on her uh, there's an opening on the back and you just simply like pop it on to her uh, neck and um, yeah nothing really uh, super exciting about that and she does not come with any bracelets or other uh, type of jewelry moving on to her clothes uh, this is her uh, little coat I guess I could call it a coat because it's not really a jacket and it honestly kind of reminds me of a, of a uh, like bathrobe or, or nightgown more like a nightgown uh, piece but uh, it's I guess it's because of the the pink uh, color and the fabric is like really shiny as you can see interesting it has these two little um, strings in the front that you can uh, probably uh, tie uh, in the front if you wanted to and the sleeves and the color of the of the coat has this really light fluffy pink uh, fake fur on it it's pretty simple and uh, again it kind of reminds me of a of a um, nightgown piece so uh, I'm not a huge fan of it but it is what it is and while I'm here I'm going to try and show you guys that she has painted nails and they are uh, light super light uh, pink as you can see the coat uh, the coat sleeves are actually kind of uh, long so they cover up her hands uh, at least the most uh, the bigger part of it now um, underneath the coat she actually has a double uh, layered top and the pieces are actually separate in the back which is uh, quite a surprise for me too uh, when I saw it so uh, the top part as you can see is this really shiny uh, light purple colored basically it's like a tank top and it's I think it's kind of like a um, PVC type of material so I'm not sure how uh, it will hold uh, over time I hope it doesn't disintegrate fully and underneath she has a short sleeved like crop top which is white and has this kind of silver uh, sparkly um, design to it silver sparkly little dots on it I'm not sure how well you can see on the camera because my camera has having such a hard time focusing for some reason I don't know why so you can kind of see it it's a pretty simple little top but it looks good now her skirt is I'm a really big fan of her skirt I think it's super uh, cute it's a light purple color so it goes well with the white and uh, the other uh, purple top and has these beautiful uh, butterflies on it in different uh, colors as you can see I just think that it's, it's, it's super cute it's a mini skirt but it, it's just uh, such a simple yet such a cute piece I think it really fits her and I'm really a big fan of the little chain as well that uh, she has on her skirt because it's a real chain like not one of those cheap plastic pieces and it, she has this cute little heart uh, charm hanging from it and I do think that the chain is actually attached yes it is uh, to her skirt so it's sewn on and it's not like a separate uh, piece like a uh, belt or something so that is her uh, skirt now last but not least she comes with a pair of super cute uh, white knee high uh, socks and these are the same uh, type of material so I guess they have kind of like a stretchiness to them as well as her um, 
little uh, t-shirt or top because as you can see it, they are white kind of see-through and have those uh, shiny little dots on them and it also has a bit of white lace at the top and her shoes are super cute they are pink as you can see and the sole they are high heels of course and the sole of the shoes uh, is uh, pink glittery here on the front we can see uh, just the same type of flocked pink little pom-poms or balls that she has on her uh, earrings as well and the strap of the shoe has some details painted on which is great honestly now uh, a little complaint I have I actually had to cut the strap of the shoe I don't know if you can see it right over there on both sides because otherwise uh, her feet would just wouldn't go in to the shoe um, I'm thinking it's probably because of the the socks because uh, they are a little bit of a thicker material and um, I don't know I was just afraid that uh, the straps of the shoe will uh, pop at uh, some you know a place where uh, it's more visible so I just thought that I should cut it instead and um, really doesn't bother me you can't really see it that it's cut so I just had to do that so just a heads up if you uh, have or want this doll that um, you may have a little bit of trouble if you want to um, put her shoes on uh, but yeah so that's about it for uh, fancy girl and her whole look and that's about it for this review of uh, the LR Surprise Twins series 1 Fancy Girl and um, I do think that these dolls are just really, really great quality they are super cute as well so if you don't have you like uh, LR Surprise but you don't have any of the OMGs or uh, these Twins dolls you should just definitely try it out and grab uh, one or two of them and uh, see for yourself how cute they are and how uh, well they are made I do recommend them and uh, yeah the fourth one from the first series the fourth girl which is hoops cutie um, is coming up soon on my channel as a review uh, too so uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet that way you won't miss out on that review as well and other kind of uh, toy and door reviews of course and if you liked my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below what do you think of her or which one is your favorite from the Twins dolls. If you are looking forward to some new releases in the future probably. And uh, you can go ahead and also like my uh, Facebook page. I post uh, my videos over there. You will be able to get notifications whenever I upload something. And... Um, other stuff you can comment over there too as well if you want to and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye